Welcome to the inaugural Third Coast Championship, presented in association with the Sand Ridge Disc Golf Club. This year will be the first year of what's planned to be an annual disc golf attraction to the Southern Michigan area. First of all, I would like to thank the Sand Ridge Disc Golf Club at Bridgman, Michigan for their support of the event and the hard work of the members in getting both the Sand Ridge Disc Golf Course and the River Park Disc Golf Course in great working order. A special thank you goes out to David Brunsting, Brandon Fritchie, Jonathan Logan, and Charles Rafe for all their hard work over the past year. This club and the greater Southern Michigan disc golf community are stronger and more vibrant than ever, and without your leadership, this growth would have never happened. Secondly, thank you to everyone who purchased an individual sponsorship or a whole sign package, as this extra funding helped increase the overall player experience for each and every competitor. All individual sponsors will be listed at the end of this video. We would also like to thank Kyle Wessling and Momentary Bliss Discs for their support, including donating two baskets for the virtual raffle. Furthermore, we'd like to thank Robert Clark and all the fine folks at Lake Charter Township for their continued support of the local golf community. And a large thank you goes out to Bridgman Public Schools Athletic Department for allowing the Third Coast Championship to utilize some of their equipment during the event. And lastly, thank you to our volunteer course directors at River Park and Lake Township Park, Mr. Tyler Jackson and Mr. Jack Pinazzo. Without their assistance, this event would not have been able to come together. Event Schedule Warm-up and Practice All courses are available to practice and can be played anytime. Both River Park and Sand Ridge Disc Golf Course are contained in public parks and can be played for free pretty much any time during the day. Lake Arvesta Farms is a private course and is only accessible during business hours, and there is an entry fee to access the course. Thursday, September 8, 2022. Player pack pickups and check-in, 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. Players can come Thursday evening and pick up players packs at Lake Arvesta Farms Thursday evening. If you cannot make it Thursday evening, don't sweat it. You'll be able to retrieve your players packs at Lake Arvesta Friday and Saturday. Please ensure you have retrieved your players' packs before 5 p.m. on Saturday. Competition Days Tea times will be posted the evening before letting you know when your tea time is. All tea times should be posted around 7 p.m. We ask that you arrive at Tournament Central at least 10 minutes prior to your scheduled tea time to allow the on-site course director to go over any final safety items, answer any questions, and ensure the card is all ready to go. We cannot hold a card for late arrival, so if you are late to your tea time, you will be penalized per normal PDGA rules. Dropouts slash DNFs. If during the event you choose to drop out for some reason or you cannot compete, please let the tournament director or course director know with as much notice as you can. This will help ensure that we have enough time to adjust cards and just help things run smoother. Points, players packs, and trophies. This event is a three-round amateur-only disc golf tournament sanctioned by the Professional Disc Golf Association. All PDGA rules are in effect. Please note this event does not utilize the two-meter rule. As a B-tier event, your rounds will be rated and you will receive tour points for this event. This event is run under the true amateur guidelines set forth by the PDGA. So basically this event is trophy only. You will not receive a merchandise payout for placing in the top of your division. Players Packs Players Packs for the 2022 Third Coast Championship include 1. Mint Discs Royal Profit Putter with Tournament Stamp 1. Mint Discs Apex Goat Premium Distance Driver with Tournament Stamp 1. Flight Sacks Clay Based Drying Sack 1. Permanent Marker one Third Coast Championship branded drawstring backpack. Trophies. Divisions with greater than five participants will have a first, second, and third place trophy. Divisions with four or less participants will have first and second place trophies only. Virtual raffle. We have over 30 items in this year's raffle, including a collection of discs from multiple manufacturers, two disc golf bags, 
Bluetooth headphones, Bushnell Bluetooth speaker, a special MVP rover cart with a custom paint job, two Axiom Disc golf baskets provided by Momentary Bliss Discs, two cooler backpacks, some items donated by Lime Warrior, one MVP Black Hole Pro HD V2 disc golf basket with a custom paint job, and a few other surprises. Raffle tickets can be purchased at the event website at www.thirdcoastchampionship.com through Saturday, September 10th at noon. Starting around 7 p.m. on Saturday, keep an eye out on the event website and Facebook feed to see what you won. If you win an item, you will be able to pick up that item at your Sunday course. Just check in with your course director to retrieve your prize. Upcoming events. There are a few events of note coming from Sandridge Disc Golf Club. First, the annual B-Tier Disc Golf Tournament, Gilligan's Islands, sponsored by Momentary Bliss Discs, will happen on October 15, 2022 at Madeline Bertrand Park in Niles, Michigan. Second, on Halloween weekend, there will be an MVP Space Race, a specialty glow disc golf event on October 29, 2022 at Lake Township Park. Third, at the end of September, Sunday Fall Leagues will start at Lake Township Park. Keep an eye on DiscGolfScene.com and Sandridge Disc Golf Club's Facebook page for more info. Course Notes Sandridge Sandridge Disc Golf Course is inside Lake Township Park, located on Gast Road in Bridgman, Michigan, just five minutes from I-94, exit 16. Sandridge Disc Golf Course will utilize a 20-hole layout for this event, using the normal 18-hole layout with an additional two temporary holes. Temporary Hole 1B, nicknamed Home Run, will use the Southeast Youth Baseball Field. Temporary Hole 17B, nicknamed Double Triple Mando, will use a Central Soccer Field. For Hole 1B, nicknamed Home Run, players will tee off next to the home team dugout for this 300-foot hole. Go for the home run and throw your disc over the outfield fence. If you land inside the outfield marked with pink flags, this will play as a hazard penalty. You take a one-stroke penalty and play from where the disc lies. If you don't feel comfortable going for the home run, you can lay up along the right side of the field. Just don't throw over the fence on the right or normal OB rules will apply. For hole 17B, nicknamed Double Triple Mando, players will have a triple Mando roughly 40 feet in front of the tee box, as well as a second triple Mando roughly 50 feet before the basket. If you miss the mandatory route, you will incur a one-stroke penalty, and you must play from the previous lie. There is no drop zone for either mandatory. River Park. River Park Disc Golf Course is located inside Benton Charter Township Park on Zoller Drive in Benton Harbor, Michigan, just five minutes from I-94, exit 28. We will be using the standard 18-hole layout of this course with a few small tweaks to encourage a good pace of play. On hole seven, the swamp area on the right side of the fairway will play as out of bounds and will be marked off with pink flags. There will be a drop zone on this hole and the drop zone is in effect only for drives that land out of bounds. For all other throws, normal OB rules will apply. Hole 13 will have out of bounds roughly eight feet beyond the basket. Normal OB rules will apply. Hole 14 will have out of bounds marked by pink flags at the shore of the creek and beyond. Normal OB rules will apply. After hole 14, we ask that all competitors use the dirt path to hole 15 and not the boardwalk. There are areas of the boardwalk that have become unstable and we do not want anyone to get hurt. A special note regarding the tee pads at River Park. River Park utilizes earthen tee pads marked with a tee line on the front. As per PDGA rule 802.04A, the teeing area is the area extending three meters behind the designated tee line. A special note from the tournament director, if you feel unsafe using the designated teeing area, you may tee off from behind, not beside the designated teeing area. Arvesta. Lake Arvesta Farms and Sports Complex is located in South Haven, Michigan, seven minutes down the road from I-196 exit 20. 
MA1 and FA1 divisions will be playing the white layout, and all other divisions will be playing the shorter yellow layout. No divisions will be playing the blue layout. Lake Arvesta will be the home for the $5,000 hole-in-one prize. This prize is a first-come, first-served prize, and the first person to hit an ace on hole 18 will win the prize. The prize is administered by hole-in-won.com. Scuba Divers The Third Coast Championship has scuba divers hitting Lake Arvesta nightly. If you lose a disc, please fill out a lost disc notice on the event website at thirdcoastchampionship.com. Recovered discs found during the event will be turned into the tournament director stationed at Lake Arvesta. Tournament staff will attempt to contact the owner of any recovered disc. Non-claimed discs will be turned into the lost and found at Lake Arvesta. Other items. After your competition rounds, I recommend you check out the Aqua Park at Lake Arvesta Farms. The Aqua Park will be open until 8 p.m. each day. Also, next door to Lake Arvesta Farms is the Michigan Flywheelers Museum, where they will be hosting the annual Antique Engine and Tractor Show featuring hundreds of old farm machinery, demonstrations, parades, live entertainment, plenty of kids' activities, and more. All four days are filled with things to see and do for the entire family. You can munch on an ear of buttery sweet corn, cooked in an old steam engine, watch tractor poles, try your hand at the flywheel toss, or sit down in the Stevenson barn and listen to musicians play during the Moore's Jam Session. Just up the road in Paw, Paw Michigan is the Paw, Paw Wine and Harvest Festival. The festival offers something for everyone, including tastings and tours for wine enthusiasts, a 5K, grape stomping competition, kayak race, and other contests for the active members of your family, four stages of entertainment for music lovers, carnival rides, fireworks, and the parade for all ages. Thank you for participating in the first annual Third Coast Championship. Hopefully everything runs smoothly and everyone has a safe and fun experience. If you have any questions or need further clarification, please feel free to reach out to Charles Rafe, the tournament director.